There are seemingly a never ending list of things you can do to help your dry eyes at home. I've made videos about it as have other docs on YouTube, but I recently realized something. Nobody has yet made a video about why at home care is such a big part of managing dry eye. In today's video, I'll cover the most recent treatment algorithms that are recognized by the leading optometry and ophthalmology organizations. So today's video is gonna help you learn to methodically choose your treatments and stack them effectively rather than just trying any new treatment approach. I believe that that particular algorithm goes by the name shotgun method, but we can do better than the shotgun method of just trying any old thing. So let's get to work. Welcome to Eye School with Dr. D, where my goal is to arm you with the knowledge you need to take control of your eye health and have the best vision possible. Like and subscribe for videos every week. Welcome to Saturday Eye School. I'm your host, Dr. D. I want to start by showing you something important. This here is the TFOS or Tear Film and Ocular Surface Society Dues to Treatment Algorithm. So the Dues to was the dry eye workshop and um, it came out in 2017 or 2018 and through that workshop they came out with this here algorithm this is the algorithm i'm personally most familiar with but you would have to ask your doctor which one they use to see if it aligns the algorithms are all quite similar. There are a couple of other ones. There's one um, that's sort of specifically meant for pre-surgery dry eye, and then there's another one that looks at dry eye a little bit differently, but ultimately they're all very, very similar in the treatments that are being done. So we'll use the TFOS dues too, since that's the one I'm most familiar with and personally use, and I have found most other dry eye specialists are using as as well. In the DOES algorithm, we have four steps to treatment that systematically elevate the treatment. So in the early stages of dry eye, you may find relief from your symptoms using the step one guidance, but in later disease stages or depending on the presence of systemic disease, you may benefit more from the elevated treatments. It's really beneficial to have a solid grasp and develop good habits around those earlier stages of treatment. Meaning, even if your disease is severe, continuing to keep good dietary habits, using artificial tears, warm compresses, and being mindful of medications is still important for overall management. So here on screen is the same algorithm. What I've done here is gone through and starred the areas that can be done as home remedies. So these are things you'd be able to find over the counter. And that's what this whole series is really about, going through those home remedies and stacking them appropriately and setting that good foundation so that as your doctor elevates your dry eye treatment to steps two, three, and four later on, you continue to have that good foundational um, step in place. So in step one, I found these things that you could do at home. Number one, educating yourself about the condition itself, modifying your local environment. So those are things like um, using a humidifier in your home, um, changing out the air filters in your home, um, eliminating allergens. We've got dietary modifications, identifying and eliminating systemic and topical medications that are contributing to your dry eye. You've heard me talk a lot about retinol. I haven't talked a lot about systemic medications yet, but identifying those things that may be contributing to your dry eye and eliminating them is very critical. Ocular lubricants, so getting in the artificial tear category, lid hygiene, doing scrubs, and warm compresses. And those are all step one treatments. Those are just basics. Step two treatments, there's even a few things in step two that you yourself can do at home. Um, the first of which, preservative-free lubricants. So in step one, we're maybe using drops that, are, that come in bottles and have preservatives. And in step two, you know I'm a fan of non-preserved artificial tears. So in step two, we eliminate those preservatives. Um, tea tree oil for Demodex, I made a whole video about that, I'll link above, that's a step two treatment. Moisture chamber glasses and then overnight ointments and goggles. So it's later in steps two, three, and four that you see the prescription options, the in-office treatments, and the surgical type options discussed. 
And that means there's a lot of at-home options that can and should be used. I would still recommend working through these steps with the help of your eye doctor, but it's helpful in my opinion to see this algorithm and get an idea of where you've already done the work and some areas that could use more help. So if you're somebody who has just used every artificial tear that you can find and you're sort of you know doing the shotgun approach, make sure to stay tuned for this series because what I'll do is break down each of these at-home therapies from the algorithm in this series of videos. That's it for today's Saturday School. Thanks for attending. This does count as extra credit, you little overachiever, you. If you like this content, please do give it a thumbs up as that helps YouTube know that these videos are helpful to my subscribers, which are you one yet? I will see you next time.